Hey again, it's Eugene Eric Kim of Faster Than 20 here for another staying strategic workout. It's been about five days since my last workout, which was a pure uh, question sense making workout. And I realized at the end of that workout that while it was luxurious to have a whole hour to go through and, and fill in the gaps, there were some, still some pretty glaring gaps that I need to fill in. And so I figured it would be worth doing another sense making workout, spend the whole hour doing that and just see where I land. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So first thing is always update the date on the sense making document. Now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna just uh, check my scores, check my priorities. You can see I grew the font size of the very first question as sort of a decision point and I updated my buckets document as well. So continuing to, to just scroll through. Haven't answered many questions under my people. So I'm taking the time to actually do that. This one has a bunch of reds in addition to yellows, but I'm starting with the yellow. Felt good about that answer, so I grew the size. On to the next question. Okay, going to a red. Just giving myself a note to look up some information, which is going to help me answer that question. making just minor adjustments. I've answered a lot of the questions here, so I'm probably not gonna spend that much time on it. Answering that question helped me answer this red a little bit more, so I went back and um, adding some more there. You can see I'm still pondering it and I moved to the next red question. And moving on to the next section. Decide to move on to the next section, adjusting the overall packaging section. Betting a, a new question that's coming up for me, scoring and tagging it. Again, going to update my buckets, came up with something to add to target success, so I added a note there. Another idea to add to the action plan. Jumping around a little bit. You can see once you get to this stage, it's, it's really about filling in the blanks, making your adjustments, filling in the blanks. So this is basically an, an hour of, of focused time to just do my thinking. And here I go. So this was the community page that I left off with in the last workout and I realized, well, I haven't addressed this at all. Came up with uh, another question. This one is about fear. Fear was a common thing that came up with me a lot in doing these workouts. So obviously coming to term with that fear, making sure that fear doesn't drive me 
is a big part of the exercise for me here. And just being able to express those fears, to call it out, to, to be self-aware about what I'm afraid of and why will hopefully help me manage that. Continuing to answer my questions, now I get to a, a green one, which was hopefully a little easier and seems to be easier, as you can see. I'm just churning it out. And I'm about 30 minutes in. I've done a lot of work for 30 minutes. Jumping to a, a yellow question here, moderate certainty. Okay, answer to green question. Now I'm sitting here and I'm obviously thinking a lot about this yellow. Starting to map out some ideas. A little background information, a little story here. It's like a journaling exercise. It's basically a framework in which to do your journaling and to organize your thinking. Okay, I feel good about having spent some time in that community section. This is another community-related question in the, the business model, the money, 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 money section. So mapping this out. This is all stuff that's been in my head for a while, but I'm actually taking the time to, to write it out. Writing out the reasoning, which is going to make this much more useful when I share it with other people because I'll be able to get much more of a story about what I'm thinking about and why without me having to explain it. Jumping back into the buckets, updating the action item, more data that I want to look up. Working through another blank question here. On to the last section, my limits. A couple of blank questions here, so I'm tackling those. This session was really nice. I, I really got to, to fill in the gaps. And it felt really good in the moment to be able to do that, to, to start to get to clarity, but also to acknowledge the clarity that I already had. In some ways, when you're doing this work, it's sort of like a celebration of, you know what, I've thought a lot about these questions already. And just reminding yourself of that and getting to see in a very tangible way a lot of the thinking that you've done, that can be really rewarding. It can help build a lot of confidence. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, it can really help ground you. And so I'm changing that question to green because I feel pretty good about the answer. And I grew the font size of, of one of them. Okay, so I'm just reviewing now. Um, going back up, comparing questions that I think are related. I was just checking up a, a number to fill in what my answer was going to be. OK, 
creating a new section under buckets called experiments. Mapping out an idea there. Whole bunch of ideas for experiments are in my sense making document. So I definitely need to go through and pull some of those out at some point. And adding more stuff to the success spectrum for my sense making document. And that is pretty much going to take me to the hour. So there you go. You can see I got a lot of work done, filled in a lot of questions. And now I feel really good about calling up a colleague and asking for some feedback. So I'm going to do that for my next workout. Looking forward. I feel really good about where I landed with that workout. It was just, again, a luxury to be able to take the time and to get a bunch of things out of my head. I feel like I um, have been thinking about some new things over the past five days and I was able to integrate that into the sense making document. And now I'm feeling ready to actually share this with someone else and start getting some feedback. It's still obviously early. There's still a lot of yellow and red there. I haven't made a lot of decisions, but it's uh, good enough at this point to just share it with other people and see where they land. So that's what I'm gonna do in my next workout. Until then, see you later.